Hi and welcome to another video. So in this video I'll be going over my bubble sort method which is the fourth of the first group of four projects in the Ruby path of the Odin project. And the objective here is to build a method that takes an array and returns a sorted array. But you've got to use the bubble sort methodology, you can't just use the sort method in, in Ruby. So here they provide an array of unordered, unordered numbers and your bubble sort methodology should order that array. And just as a quick aside, there's a pretty decent Wikipedia page on all the different sorting algorithms. As you can see, a bubble sort is a simple sorting algorithm where it starts at the beginning of the data set and compares the first two elements. And if the first is greater than the second, it swaps them. And it continues doing this for each pair of adjacent elements to the end of the data set. And there's a pretty uh, handy little animation on the project page here just to kind of show you how that works. So after the last project I had good experience with the each with index so I figured I would use that for this sort. Now in retrospect this is certainly not the most efficient way to do it I don't think uh, because really you only need to compare a value at an index to the value next to it but each with index nested, the way I have it here, is going to compare not only the next value, but all the other values as well that come before and after. So on a large array with many numbers, you could imagine this would be uh, exhausting some of the processing power and slow things down a little bit. So I wouldn't recommend this on a large array, but for a very small array and for the purpose of this exercise, this does work. Uh, let's have a look here. What do I do? So I have... I define my bubble sort method, zoom in a little bit, and I have a counter, i equal to zero, and then I just perform a while loop, uh, while i is less than array length, do. So it's going to do this nested each with index on the array. And so the first is looking at value a and its index, and the second each with index is looking at value b and b index. And it's simply just saying that if the B index is equal to the A index plus one, so that's the next one in the array. And if B is less than A, then we're going to insert into the array at A index value B. But I'm actually performing two things at once here. So we're, I'm calling array.delete at B index. So what this is doing is it's going to delete the B value, but this actually returns the value of b. So on the insert method, you, you provide an index and a value. And given that this array.delete at returns a value, that value is going to get passed in and put in the a index of the array. So that's kind of nifty there. Uh, I think I got that one on Stack Overflow as well. And then it just iterates i plus equal to 1. And then I print the array. And let's just take a quick look at this last line here that's um, using the insert and delete at index. So if I make an array equal to one, two, and three, so I define a is equal to that array, and then I say a dot insert to one, two. So let's do, uh, let's insert at index three, the letter a. So now our array looks like this. We have a inserted at the third index. And then let's remove a dot delete at three. See, it returns that letter a. So you can see that that's returning that value in here, which is going to then be called in this insert method. And let's just quickly check our array. There we have it. One, two, three. The a is missing. It's been deleted. Okay, this one is pretty straightforward. It definitely was much easier to figure out than the last uh, stock picker exercise short and sweet uh, if you do have any questions any comments if you have a way that's far more efficient than this make a comment below and uh, maybe put a link to your github i'd like to take a look okay thank you bye bye